So a 91st minute winner here from Chipper and Pacima Visitors leave with all three points. And we're here with Rob Dre for his post-match thoughts. Rob, what do you make of tonight's game? Well, it's never nice. You know, that's the, they're the worst ones to take. There's no doubt about that. Um, when you lose in the 91st minute. Um, uh, yeah, listen, it's a tough game. The pitch is quite quite tough at the moment, but we got the game on tonight, which is the most crucial thing, was getting the game on tonight. A lot of people put a lot of work in today to get this game on. So it's good to get home. It's good to play a game. It looked like at times that we'd forgotten how to play at home. Um, once we settled, we were a little bit better. You know, they play a certain way. It's two contrasting styles. Um, and uh, we were good for a point until the 91st minute. And uh, there was a lot of things around it. Was it a foul? Yes, I probably think it was. Did the referee make some strange dishes tonight? Yeah, I think he probably did. But I, on the whole, I actually like him. I think he's a good referee and probably one of the most communicative in the league, um, on the league above, as we know. So, But I, I, I think we've got to look at ourselves. I think we've got to look at ourselves and we can do better in so many other ways. Um, the basics, we have to do so much better. The, the communication, the... Just sometimes you just got to look at players, got to look at themselves. I just think they've got to look at themselves at times. And today was one of those nights, like you know, and we that's the games when you're not playing over well that you scramble a point and you walk away from it and come back again on Saturday. Um, but it wasn't to be tonight, it wasn't to be tonight, you know. And, and Chippenham, we could value for it, like you know, but listen, we got ourselves back in the game after, after not being very good for the first half. And uh, but there we go, you know, decisions, and it's very fine minute things that are happening to us at the moment. So last week we had two very, very positive wins. 3-1 yeah. against Worthing and 3-1 against Torquay. Yeah. Oh, so this week we've not been able to reach those levels that we reached against Worthing and Torquay. No, we've had a lot of uh, lot of miles in the legs and it's 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 very fine margins at the moment. Um, as we saw tonight, it's fine margins and everybody can beat anybody in this league. We've seen that in the last few weeks. Chippen have come back off of two great results by beating Worthing, Worthing and, and Yeovil, so let's not forget that either. So, you know, you have to pay a little bit of respect to them. But we know we need to get our, get our levels up a little bit higher. One or two of our lads need to grow up a lot. Um, we were naive as a team tonight at times. Um, and it's just about energy levels, intent, quality at the right times, and good decision making and, and the basics. And that will get us to the points total that we need to stay in this league. We don't want to keep saying there's still 11 games. We don't want to keep saying there's still 10 games. Well, let's, let's do it now. Let's do it now. Let's, let's, let's do it what's in front of us. Play what's in front of us. So we welcome uh, second place in the league, Chelmsford City, here on Saturday. What are your thoughts going into that game? Well, a good side. They're a good side. They're the second in the league. And I always think they're, they're a very well-equipped side in this, in this division. What they do, great pace, great strength. Uh, yeah, so uh, another big ask, another big, uh, tough, tough day. But we've already proved in the last couple of weeks that we can we can match with anybody. And to a degree, we matched Chippenham tonight, who are the form side in the league. But, uh, you know, one or two one or two decisions didn't go quite, quite our way. As you mentioned, some players maybe not up to the levels, but was there a man of match for you tonight? Lloyd Irish by an absolute mile. So a couple of saves he made was absolutely phenomenal. So if come back here, if not playing for five, five months, it's, it's been brilliant. So yeah, you mentioned Lloyd not played for five months. He's come straight back into the team. Must be delighted that he's almost recuperating old form. Uh, listen, to come back in and hit the levels he has is, is, is an absolute credit to him, to be fair. Um, so really pleased for him. Really pleased for him. Thank you very much, Rob. Cheers, Max.